welcome to the World Tarot. Let's get some general messages for Divine Feminine for the next week. What can Divine Feminines expect in the next week, please? Let's get the general reading for Divine Feminine. Universe, please help me channel the most accurate messages Divine Feminine needs to hear for the next week. Universe, please help me channel the most accurate messages for Divine Feminines for the next week. Let's get general messages. Let's get uh, good surprises as well as red flags that they need to look out for. What good things and what bad things are coming towards Divine Feminines for the coming week, please? Universe, please help me give Divine Feminines the most accurate messages they need to hear for the coming week. Let's see, what are the messages they need to hear the most? Let's get different kinds of messages. General reading, please, for the next week. What is the first item of business here? <laughs> okay, let's see. Queen of Swords, bam, cut it out. We're starting really strong, right? We cut everything out. Ten of Cups, I, we don't cut, we, should we cut out the Ten of Cups? I don't know. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Five of Cups, Ugh, it's going down. Ten, nine, five, eight of Pentacles. Well, everything seems to be well, except for that there might be some kind of emotional turmoil. Of course, we're moving from Gemini season into Cancer season here, right? So there's a shift here. There's a shift happening when it comes to feelings. We might feel, uh, one day we might feel very good. One day we might feel sad. So there could be a bit of, and... Um, the Queen of Swords makes me think of Libra, it makes me think of balance, but sometimes, you know, it's like sometimes it goes up and down, up and down, right? Finding a balance. You know, but the scales always move around, it's hard to, to find, uh, to keep them in one place, right? So, there's gonna be a lot of emotion coming to the surface. And also the, the full moon is also approaching. Nine of Cups also makes me think of temperance again. It's like balancing the act. Energies flowing from one to another. Up and down. It's, uh, well, it's the rhythm of life, isn't it? And of, of course the feminines might focus a lot <clears throat> on working on themselves and on their craft. They might be... Um, make uh, finding a balance between work and and resting but i don't know why the ace of swords is in reverse maybe there's some something there's some truth that needs to be told maybe the feminists don't see the truth about something or they're being the, the truth is being withheld from them and maybe what they don't see is that there's something new happening something very exciting about to happen King of Swords, there could be some communication maybe from their counterpart. Do you see how the King of Swords came under the Queen of Swords here and they're both in the upright, so that's a good sign. Um, maybe there's no communication right now, but communication will be coming, right? So, and everybody will get their clarity, right? And their balance, they will find a balance. So we've got Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Four of Swords. A lot of Libra energy, again, balance, Nine of Cups, I said that it reminds me of Temperance, so a lot of balancing out. Eight of Pentacles, this is like the infinity sign, right? Balance again. Okay, um, Four of Pentacles reversed, so someone's not holding back, right? Any longer, Two of Pentacles, yeah, exactly, balance again. There's going to be a balance between the, the masculine and the feminine. There's going to be some kind of agreement, some kind of um, discussion, some kind of coming together. A new beginning, a healthy new beginning, right? Justice. Six of Cups reversed. Why is the Six of Cups reversed? 
maybe they will be getting over certain uh, unpleasant things from the past this uh, couple this king and queen of swords why is the six of cups reversed please because of the king of cups <clears throat> the six of cups was in reverse because there was no balance between the masculine and the feminine because the masculine seemed to have been withholding their feelings But this masculine has been working on themselves and ha they have grown emotionally too. So now they understand what they were doing wrong in the past. When it comes to their feelings, when it comes to how they made the feminine feel. Three of Wands reversal. They don't want to make the feminine wait any longer. Knight of Swords. They're going to come in very fast. There's no more waiting. So there's definitely some kind of communication coming here. Maybe... Even before the end of Gemini season, when is that? That's like in two days, I think. What date is today? I, wrote, I forgot again what date it is. Today is the 19th, so yeah, it's almost the end of Gemini season. So in some cases, there might be communication between certain masculines and feminines before the end of this Gemini season. So in the next three days, maybe. Um, okay, so what will this communication be about? What uh, what will this discussion, what is the masculine going to be saying here? What will the masculine be saying? Eight of Wands, lots of things. Lots and lots of things with the Eight of Wands here. Knight of Swords with the Eight of, eight of Wands, they're coming clean. They're, they're, they possibly have been getting a lot of downloads, spiritual downloads too. From the angels possibly. So they're listening to their higher self here. They've been, they started to listen to their higher self, their intuition has opened. And maybe their ego is not that um, on the first uh, priority here. Of course, the a six of wands in reverse could be like, like the lower vibration, so even uh, more in their ego, but I don't think that's the case. I think they're, they're coming, um, they're rising above their ego. Ace of pentacles, yes. And also, they, they, they can offer stability now. They will actually might come with a marriage proposal even. The Four of Pentacles here was in reverse, right? That's what I remember. Yeah, so they're no longer holding back. They're going to express themselves. They're going to offer something because they want to have a family with the feminine. So... These are general messages, so they might apply to many people. Should we accept this offer, this Ace of Pentacles? Should the Feminine accept this Ace of Pentacles here? Is it safe for the Feminine to accept this Ace of Pentacles if it's actually coming? Because there's lots of promises. They're coming in three days, they're coming in five months, whatever. Well, if it actually comes, should, should they take it? Oh my God, Seven of Cups. They need Four of Wands. Well, the Four of Wands is in the upright, so it's like, yes, but maybe the feminine needs to be patient, right? To analyze the situation. To make sure there's no, there's no confusion here. Maybe the feminine has, has, al has already been manifesting this, and it's like coming true now. She was manifesting it, and the, the, she's getting the wish fulfillment. She's getting the balance, but this might confuse confuse her even more because maybe the feminine has already grieved this separation that uh, the feminine doesn't feel like there's any coming together here because she's looking, uh, the guy in the five of cups is looking at those three spilled cups. So she sees the three of cups as being in reverse, like there's no reunion happening. She doesn't see the two of cups behind her. So this might take her... As this might be a very big surprise for the feminine that the masculine is coming back with such a um, big offer, being so sure of himself and what he wants right now. So she might be afraid, right? She might be analyzing the situation to understand if this is a good offer or a bad offer. She might not know what cup is this? What kind of, what are you offering me here with this Ace of Pentacles? What's in the cup? But I think eventually there will be a union here. 
and like she was advised to take it basically right but maybe just to analyze it don't don't jump into it too quickly see things from a higher perspective there's also a completion here with the seven it's like um it's the end of a cycle there's something new happening here there's uh, a new beginning definitely is happening and it might be a much more stable and fulfilling new beginning okay six of pentacles yes in the upright so there's going to be an equal give and take there's going to be um six of swords yeah moving into calmer waters and we've got two sixes here makes me think of um venus of love also, uh, it makes me think of Venus in Taurus and Venus in Libra, the pentacles and the swords here. So there could be a strong Venus connection somehow between the masculine and the feminine. Maybe one of you has Venus in Taurus, the other one has Venus in Libra. Not necessarily. Maybe there's another kind of connection, but something like that. Maybe some kind of Venus, strong Venus placements, maybe somewhere. I don't know. Um but it's definitely going to be mutual this is like a feminine energy this is a masculine energy they're both even it's like they're both balanced they're capable of coming together into this union so it looks pretty good oh this is going to be a good reading isn't it oh my god <laughs> uh, yes <laughs> i got confirmation that yes this is a good reading don't stop stop investigating you see like the queen and king of swords here i'm investigating things here i want to know the truth why is that ace of swords in the reverse there and stuff you know but the, the ace of swords is in the reverse is that it's because uh, that the feminine doesn't see this coming doesn't know that there's something coming something big right something big queen of cups in the upright thank god yes love is real love is all around us and the king of cups was in the upright too right yes yes oh my god we've got king and queen of swords king and queen of cups so both intellectually and uh, you know emotionally you're on the same page you're on the same level so your your masculine energies and your feminine energies are balanced so it's perfect okay that's great Whew. Okay, this is all that we need to know for next week. I, I would like to stop it here because it's too good to be true. <laughs> okay. Um, fine, I'll stop it here. Yes, let me ask. Should I stop? Two of Wands in the reverse. Uh, I don't know how to interpret that. Two of Wands is like looking at something, right? It's like making a plan. Don't make any more plans. Don't make any plans. Okay. Uh, so, okay, fine. Okay, that's the reading for next week. The general reading, the general message. I hope this applies to as many people as possible. So, God help you. God help us. Okay, take care. Bye.